Right now, I'm in the wonderful San Fernando Valley on Ventura Boulevard, and I'm here today to check out a pretty unique filming location. Today, we're checking out a filming location from an episode of The Simpsons. And yes, I know that The Simpsons is a cartoon, but there's at least one real life filming location from The Simpsons. I think there's just one, at least just one that I'm aware of. So there's at least one real life filming location from The Simpsons, and it's right here on Ventura Boulevard, and I'm gonna show it to you in just a minute. Now, the location that I'm talking about is featured in Treehouse of Horrors Part Six, and it's in the last story of the episode. And in case you've never seen it, uh, Homer is trying to hide from Marge's sisters, and he goes behind a bookshelf, and he ends up falling into the third dimension. And then he's trying to figure out how to get out of the third dimension. And if all of this sounds familiar, that's because it's based on an episode of The Twilight Zone. That's weird. It's like something out of that Twilighty show about that zone. But so while he's trying to figure out how to get out of the third dimension, he ends up falling into a black hole, falling from the sky, and landing in the real world. And like I just mentioned, that segment with him in the real world, that was filmed right here on Ventura Boulevard. So if you're ready, I'm gonna show it to you now. Let's go see what we can find. So like I already mentioned, Homer comes falling out of the sky and he lands in a dumpster. And that dumpster was located pretty much right in front of where this car is parked. Now quite a few things have changed back here, but there's also a lot that's still the same. In the show, there's an open door that you can see on this building. Uh, that's now covered by a newer structure. However, that fence going around that structure, that was here at the time. And if you look up on this building, that rain gutter and that vent can also be seen in the show. And if we look back at this gray building, these three holes along with this light and these wood beams coming out of the roof, all of that can be seen in the show as well. Now I know this is kind of silly because it's not like Homer was actually here or anything, but standing here, I feel like I'm standing in the same place where Homer was. It's just, it's really cool. Anyways, Homer pops up out of the trash can and he makes a comment that this is the worst place yet. He then walks out onto Ventura Boulevard a bit down the block. So let's go check that out. Now this right here, this is pretty close to the shot and a lot of, if not all of the businesses have changed and a lot of the buildings have changed as well. But pay attention to this building right here that has these like three cubbies in front. Now that center one that has the mailbox painted on it, that's where Homer comes walking out of. He comes walking right out of there and he's walking down the street, twiddling his thumbs. He's really nervous and scared. And then also notice this parking meter and this lamp post. These can clearly be seen in that shot. A woman comes walking out of the street and she puts money in this parking meter. And I have no idea why, because there's no car parked there. She just for no reason walks out of the street and puts money in this parking meter. And Homer's walking down the street scared. Now, one thing that I noticed that's changed is right next to the building that Homer comes walking out of. In the show, it appears that there's no building next door. It looks like there's maybe a path that leads to the alley in the back. And you can also see a billboard above the building. But now there is a building next door. But I did notice that most of the buildings on this block appear to be connected. And if we walk down here and take a look at this building, you can see a gap in between the two buildings. It appears that maybe this building didn't used to be here and there quite possibly was a path right here leading to the alley behind. And again, there's no billboard on top anymore because there's now a building here. And notice this stone pillar with the bricks next to it. This can also be seen in the show. And I already mentioned this lamppost and this parking meter. So much here is still the same. Now Homer continues to walk down the sidewalk and he ends up down there at the end of the block near where he first fell into the trash can. And I'm gonna show you that right now. The business in front of me on the right side is the coffee roaster. And it's been the coffee roaster since 1987. But in 1995, they dressed up this building to be a bakery called Erotic Cakes. And I'm sure you can already see that there's quite a few things that don't match up with what we see in the show. And the main one probably being that where this juice bar currently is, there was a large window just to the left side of the door that had the cakes in it. Now I just spoke with the owner and according to him, the coffee roaster has always been the same size. 
So that kind of rules out the theory that maybe where the juice bar now is, maybe that used to be part of the coffee roaster. So I'm going to assume that they built a facade and put a fake window in front of the business that's currently the juice bar. Now the current owner of Coffee Roaster is not the same owner from 1995, but he seems to think that they might have done a mirror image of the front of the building, and the window that we see with the cakes in it is actually the same window that we see on the right side of the door, and this is definitely possible. Another big difference is in the show, above the door there's a brown shingle awning that's no longer here, but actually, if we look up here, there's that brown shingle awning. It's still here. It's now just covered by this newer fabric awning. Also, on the right side of the door, that address plaque can be seen in the show as well, and this window on the right side of the door can be seen briefly during the end credits. So Homer's walking down the street. He sees the bakery. He stops and looks at the cakes. He gets happy and hungry. He's no longer scared, and he walks into the bakery. The camera then slowly pans up to the top of the building, showing us the sign that says erotic cakes. So it's now completely impossible to get that same shot because there's a giant tree in the area where the camera would have been back in 95, but I'm gonna do my best. This is where that brown shingle awning would have been, where the coffee roaster sign is, that's where it would have said erotic cakes, and then we definitely see this part of the roof line in the show. The camera pans up a little bit more and we see some of the air conditioner equipment on top of the roof. It then slowly pans to the right, showing us some of the businesses, people walking down the sidewalk, and cars driving down Ventura Boulevard. The only problem is now there's a giant tree blocking the sidewalk, so this is the shot that we get. Now this isn't the exact angle of the camera, but this is pretty close, and like I said, it's now completely blocked by this tree. Another thing that you can see in that shot is some of the signs of the other businesses. And believe it or not, some of them are still here. Different businesses, but same signs. But like I said, they're all blocked by trees now. This entire block is now lined with trees, and back in 1995, there were no trees along this block. So I think this is probably going to be our best shot from right here. So that first sign that now says yoga, in the show, I believe that one says facts and copiers. It's kind of hard to tell because half the sign is cut off. And then that double sign just past it in the show, that one says computers and typewriters, and the bottom sign says office supplies. So that's it. And I got to say, that was pretty cool. If you're anything like me, you grew up watching The Simpsons. And I do consider myself a pretty big Simpsons fan, even though I don't watch any of the current seasons and I haven't watched any of the newer seasons in quite some time. But all of those classic episodes, I love all of those and I revisit them often. So it was a blast to check this out. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.